Here it is, the USS Flag aircraft carrier. Imagine being on the deck of this aircraft carrier. The USS Flag is fantastic! It's so big! Oh, my God! Well, here it is, everybody. It's not complete, but as you can see, I have made a whole lot of upgrades since the last USS Flag video. So, in this video, we're going to go over just what I have added. And you'll get to see every little detail up close. So, here we go. So obviously number one is the flight deck. The last time in the previous video, basically all I had was the superstructure and the support pieces. First things I tracked down were the flight deck. And with that came, I did have a couple of these, uh, the uh, gun mount turrets, but uh, I was able to get the other one that I was missing. There was three of them total. I have also got both the satellite dishes. There's one here, and there's also one right here on the bow. However, I don't have the antenna that go in the center of them. I haven't gotten those yet. We also have all of the ladders. There's the bow ladder here, and there is a ladder right there. As well as a ladder here, and two more on the inside, which we will get to in a moment. I think one of the very first things I got was the radar dome and I just I kind of went nuts from there and before any of you crucify me in the comments yes that is a Cobra Night Raven sitting on the flight deck but currently it is the only piece of uh, G.I. Joe aircraft that I have so that's why it's sitting on the flight deck just for size and scale now, as you can see here, I have added all of the railings to the superstructure that I did not have before. I don't have the doors yet. There's a door here and a door here. I haven't gotten either of those because, quite frankly, they're hard to find in good condition. I'm, tr I'm holding out to be able to find a seller that has both of them and not just one and so far every time I found somebody selling both of them there's always something wrong with one of them like a broken tab or something so I'm holding out to try to find two that are in good condition before I purchase any I actually just got the tow vehicle and uh, fuel trailer today so I was pretty happy about that that was a hard one and also, the crane came today as well, after a harrowing adventure through the United States Postal Service. It was sent to the wrong town, and then sent 100 miles back to the nearest sorting uh, building, where the main hub where they sort all the mail, and then sent back out again. It was actually sent to the town that's less than 20 miles away from where I live. It's like the next town over. And instead of just sending it over here, once they realized the mistake, they sent it 100 miles south back to the sorting hub so they could figure it out and send it to me. It took two extra days. But I've got it. And it works. Because as you can see, we can send wetsuit here down into the drink or lift him back up safely. And if we have to, we can swing him over to the deck or back out to sea. Now, you know, I'm going to save the inside of the superstructure for last. Um, the missile rack here, this one I was quite happy to get. 
I did a lot of searching around for this thing. Several of them were, several sales that I found were either just the missiles or just the launcher box itself and, or the missiles with the launcher box. None of them included this part here, the, the stand that it all attaches to and connects it to the superstructure. And I finally found somebody who was selling all of it complete. And I nabbed it as quick as I could. And this was another little thing that I took me a little bit to track down. The uh, blast shield. So when you launch Sky Strikers off the deck, just like in a real aircraft carrier, the blast shield protects crewmen that are on the deck from the jet wash. And I know the little uh, ammunition carrier here is not actually part of the flag, but I thought, what a great prop to add to the flag. Because I don't know if you've ever seen footage of aircraft carriers in use, but there's usually something like this that's hauling munitions around and loading up the planes before they're launched. So... And of course that's original swivel arm 1983 Colonel Hawk that's driving, even though General Hawk is here overlooking everything. And then of course we have Deep Six and one of the uh, G.I. Joe Sharks flying submarine from 1984 and hiding just under here, because I haven't built my display stand for this yet, is a devilfish. Which I originally had a wetsuit hiding out in until I got the crane today and I decided to put him in that. Now, where most of the work has been done is right here inside. Now I've added a bunch of figures in here just to so you can see what's going on. The bridge was a big deal. Getting all the little pieces. Originally all I had with the bridge when I first got this was the actual bridge console here and the, uh, the radio room console. Now I have almost everything. I got all the walls. I have all the ladders. I have all the chairs. The only thing that I'm missing from the interior is the little, see if I can get in here to where you can see it. There's a little peg right behind in here, right behind that release valve. That's where the Admiral's personal console goes. And there's also, as you can see here on the floor, right in there, there's a couple of peg holes there because there's a battle computer that goes right in front of that uh, chair up against the wall. I'm missing those two. Other than that, I'm not missing a whole lot. Other than the next big thing is gonna be up here. I don't have the radar yet that goes in here, and I only have this one piece of the mast. There's another piece similar to this. This is actually the top section of the mast. There's a lower section that plugs in here. And there's a bunch of other little sensors and pieces that clip on to each one. And I have to track all of that down. So, but the interior is almost completely finished. I'm all also I'm missing the Admiral's launch right here. There's a boat that clips onto this that I don't have. But out of the total 150 parts, that the USS Flag has, I think I have like less than 20 left to get. And I've done a little bit of customizing, which I will show you here. You might have noticed something there on the ceiling, right there. And there's also one right there. And there's one inside here, up underneath that you can't see. Now, if you haven't already figured out what those are, well, I'm gonna show you right now interior lighting. Now I know it's not as bright down in the bottom. I had to put one in here 
because it was the best place to attach one. These are just put on with some double-sided uh, sticky tape that comes right off if I wanted to, so they're not permanently attached or glued or anything like that. Now, before I added the walls in here, the light actually, that one light lit up the entire bottom floor really well. But obviously, when you close off all of that, the light doesn't really travel through very well, but uh, I just don't have the space and it would take up too much room and look clunky if I were to add another light there and another light there. And it just seems like overkill to me to have three lights down there when I'm using two to light up the entire top. So for now, I can live with, you know, a little bit of shadows in these two rooms, which trust me, it doesn't look as bad in person. It looks really bad on camera, like these rooms look really dark on camera, but they don't look that bad in person. Now, another little nifty feature of having this interior illumination that uh, my children have figured out, because my daughter loves to come in here and play out her own little action scenarios and pretend that the flag is sailing at sea, and then she'll yell out, red alert, and this happens. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah, these lights all have the ability to change color. And it's all operated by this little remote control right here. I can turn them on and off. I can set them on a timer so they turn off automatically after 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or 120 minutes. And they also have four color settings. There's white, there's green, there's blue, and of course, red. So... Yeah, the whole red alert thing, my daughter finds that absolutely amazing. So, but I think, you know, if I want eventually to put this on display somewhere, trust me guys, my goal, someday I would love to own my own toy store and a place where I can put some pieces from my own personal collection on display. And uh, that's definitely something I could do with this. Wow, it's weird. When, you, uh, when I turn down the brightness on those lights on the camera, it picks them up as flickering. But in reality, it's not flickering. Either that or just my eyes have a better frames per second than the camera does. And it looks like it's smooth to me, but that's so weird. What's it look like if I, if I turn it off and go back to... Yeah, when you go back to full brightness, they don't seem to flicker. But when I start to turn them down... That is weird. I wonder why it does that. I'm sure there might be some of you out there that uh, are more knowledgeable in how electricity works that uh, probably could tell me right off the bat how why it does that. But uh, I don't know. I could probably figure it out if I looked into it, but I'm not really that concerned. But anyway, there's my lighting upgrade that I did with the flag. And all of these pieces, like I said, as you can see, I have been very busy with uh, a lot of these additions. Now if you're wondering why I have these figures set up here the way I do, is I'm setting up a command structure here. I've got Beachhead here on the lower level. Eventually I'm gonna move Ghost Rider out of there because I have an X-19 Phantom that's on the way. It's not complete, it's kinda like the flag. I've got the main piece of it, but I've gotta track down a bunch of parts to rebuild it. But I have Ghost Rider, he's the pilot. So he's on here because the X-19 is going to be here eventually. But here on the lower level, I've got Beachhead. And on the way, right now as we speak, I have Duke and Flint coming that I'm going to put here. Because they are the main command staff for the field units. we got Duke as the first sergeant. He's in command of the G.I. Joe team. Flint is under him. And then Beachhead is under Flint. But then up top, I've got General Hawk. He is in overall command of the entire G.I. Joe forces. But above him is General Flagg, the son of the original General Flagg, who the ship is named after. And above both of them is General Joe Colton. And I have both their figures on the way as well. So I plan on putting General Flagg, General Colton, and with General Hawk up here on the main on the uppermost railing because then of course you probably saw before 
over here, of course we have shipwreck on the uh, on the wheel. That's probably a problem in itself. But as you can see back in there, there's a little bit of shadow. Let's see if we can get a better look at it from over here. There you go. That is General Keelhaul, or General Keel, Admiral Keelhaul, who uh, originally came with the flag. So we've pretty much, between Admiral Keelhaul and uh, General Hawk and Colton and General Flag, along with Beachhead, Flint, and Duke, we're pretty much going to have the entire G.I. Joe command on this, uh, on this playset here. Of course, we've got Lifeline down here with, looks like he's got a sailor who's seen better days. Yes, that is another shipwreck figure. But he's been used for spare parts. <laughs> so, that's what we've got so far, guys. We're getting there. It's not done yet, but it is getting close. I think I've done pretty well on... Uh, parts that I have been able to scavenge and salvage for I think it's been about two months since I started this project and thank you to those of you who have donated I, uh, I want to keep this I, I did want to mention you by name but I know there's a few of you that have asked me not to mention you by name so in fairness I'm not gonna give credit to some and none to others so just you guys know who you are Thank you for the help that you have given, and uh, we're almost there, everybody. She's looking pretty sweet. So we will see you next time.